Hello everyone, I'm Sadia Aram and in this video I will show how to solve any math of uh, rate of change for any object in the form of a, in the shape of a cone. So suppose you have a cone here. So the radius of the cone is R and the height of the cone is H. So volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi R square H. 1 by 3 pi R square H. So for any cone, if the angle is 2 theta, it is if it is a uh, right circular cone, then we have a right angle triangle here. It should be like this one. If the total angle is 2 theta, this will be theta. This is your radius and that's your height. So tan theta equals radius by height. So this is the main formula of the volume and you do not need to memorize this one since you can find tan theta equals to opposite by adjacent for any right angle triangle. So suppose we have an example here, The um, suppose some sand is being poured here and a conical shaped object is formed and the volume is increasing at a rate of 0 0.9 centimeter cube per second, so dv by dt equals to 0 0.9 centimeter cube per second and we need to find the rate at which the radius is increasing and suppose the final value for the radius is 2 so dr by dt so replace dr and dt here and above dt we know dv so i am replacing this two plus with dv so dv by dt and dr by dv so we know the value of dv by dt so let's substitute it here and above dr by dv volume is 1 by 3 pi r square h like i have mentioned in my previous video and uh, which was about the rate of change for any uh, cylindrical object uh, the problem was you had radius and uh, height both the terms uh, are like x but you need only radius or only height. The reasons for this are explained in uh, the previous video. So check that out. And uh, for this one, we need to differentiate volume with respect to the radius. So the height has to be replaced here. So the triangle, uh, the cone had an angle of 60 degrees. So if I draw a right angle triangle here, this angle will become 30. So this is your 30 degree angle, this is 90 degree, this is your radius and that's your height. So from this triangle, we can write that 10, 30 equals to radius by height, that is opposite by adjacent side. So from here we can find that H equals to R by 10, 30. So this is your value of H. So I am replacing H. So radius by 1030. So 3 into that 1030. 1. 3 into that. 3 into 1030. 1 divided by answer. So this will be root 3 by 3 pi r cube so this is your uh, new equation of volume in terms of radius only so if we differentiate this dv by dr r cube will become 3 r square so after cancel canceling out the 3 the value for dv by dr will become 3 root 3 pi r square so this is v by r but we need r by v so take the reciprocal here so root 3 by r so oh, sorry root 3 by r square since radius is 2 so root 3 by 2 square into 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 divided by root 3 into pi into 4 so this is 0 0.0413 uh, centimeter per second so to for uh, for any cylinder or cone 
you need to replace the height or radius that is the final equation for volume or area uh, will uh, always have, has to be in terms of uh, radius or height only you cannot take both radius and height at a time you need to replace this and then differentiate it we need to replace before the differentiation or else uh, you will miss one radius here okay so always substitute the height or radius whichever you need for example in this one I needed a radius so I had to uh, keep radius here and replace the height so after replacing we, uh, we, uh, we will get the new equation which can be differentiated with respect to radius so that's how you can solve any maths for cone for cone they usually uh, give maths for volume only the total surface area um, is not that much important for in case of cone even if they give that you can use the formula for the total surface area of the cone which is pi r squared plus 2 pi sorry pi r squared plus pi r l l is the slant height and for all these videos i have always mentioned volume is increasing radius in is increasing it doesn't matter even if uh, it uh, the question says that volume or radius are decreasing uh, there is no change in the maths it's all the same so that's why the name is rate of change it can increase or decrease it doesn't matter so that's the end of the maths for rate of change i guess